one of our little kittens. Today in the morning is, was a bit chilly. Uh, all the flowers my mom likes to plant, they're just a few. We got a little garden growing here. Some tomatoes on the other side. Like right there, we got some chilies, some tomatoes. I had just came in early this morning to let the little chicks out for them to be roaming. Plenty of food for them. They look like they're ready to do good out there. They all seem to be doing good, so. It's a little chilly, as you can tell, if you can tell, the grass is a little wet. That you might be able to see it a little better. The grass is a little wet, so, but even though it's a bit chilly, they seem to be doing just fine. All of, our, all of them are in great health conditions. We always leave them a good pile of food. I'm gonna have to bring the food, the water down a bit so that they can <clears throat> get some water throughout the day. Oh yeah, they're in definitely amazing health. Very lively. You know you're doing good if they're this lively. As always, we got our little crew here. The other roosters have already gone out of the tree. And who knows where they're at right now, roaming around freely. Right here we got uh, the five remaining, well, four remaining fighting roosters and the female coming out of the bushes right there from the neighbor. They're all just finally showing up. I uh, keep an eye on them more nowadays because, you know, any predators make sure like we still have some of them around They're out here checking out the little baby chicks. And these guys are two roosters right there from the old uh, fighting rooster, as you can see, the more leaned 
more built like for speed not like this guy right here he's all chubby that's the rest here comes the rest of them right there there's four of them oh you see two there oh five of them my bad coming up right here those are all of the old roosters one female four males and then we got our other rooster now because we got to have a rooster of fully grown rooster that be able to take care of them and our little chickadees came to open their little door got tomatoes growing over here our cats out here always greeting us every time we come we just put fresh food on there for them and we moved the housing from the old place to a fresh new grass. My wife put in the water now. On there. Let's check out how these guys are doing. They all seem to be doing pretty fine. It all goes the first one. Soon the rest will follow. There you go, see? I just came to check them out. The light brahmas are just chilling now on their little stands. Man, they have gotten pretty big. Come on, buddy. Okay, so you guys might be wondering like what is our purpose with them chickens well the wild ones that are I believe on this one oh they're all climbed up already um, it's a bit noisy out here but 
bear with me um the wild ones we really actually didn't have a plan for them we just uh had bought the rooster with uh two females for him and uh we were gonna eat them later on but uh my mom doesn't like them those type of roosters or chickens you know in general because they are too uh skinny they're too lean and not enough meat on them uh so we eventually just uh, let them off and uh, let them roam, you know, sleep where they want, eat all over the place here. And uh, these little guys, though, those actually are going to be grown for meat. We're going to eat them. Uh, kind of sad you know we actually are gonna get up i'm pretty sure we're gonna get pretty attached to them because they are you know we're let, we're growing them from small um to you know fully grown but uh it'll be basically dual purpose uh for the meat and uh for eggs you know laying eggs and then getting the next generation going and everything but uh that's our our agenda with these little chicks right now uh so that that's kind of our deal right now but you know i'm new to this i'm not new new i have had we've had roosters chickens before this but this time we're actually raising them for a purpose so there you guys have it well guys it's getting a bit chilly out here so we're gonna have to put them up into inside the coop because i don't know why they love to stay outside Fine. It's starting to get pretty chilly. We're already in, uh, starting about to get, uh, winter months. It's basically fall, first month of fall, and, uh, it's starting to get pretty chilly for them. Hopefully they are fully grown, or at least about halfway there before we actually get to winter. Look at them, they're eating out here, in there. They got plenty of food. I always gotta check if they have water, food. These guys over here, always chilling with us. <laughs> <laughs> 